Hi everybody. In today's installment, we're going to look at a tool that's going to help us uh, adjust or update our annotation when it comes to working with geospatial data. What I've got is a model that currently has some shape data brought in that represents parcels. As part of that shape file information, the area is currently being displayed as part of the parameters that uh, are making up the style representation. And because I don't need my areas to 10 decimal places, we're going to look at how we can go through and we can update that. There are a number of functions that will assist us in this, and today's function or the tool we'll be looking at is the round function. So let's begin by turning on the map task pane since it's not on already. So we'll go ahead and come up, select the map task pane button or the map W space command and turn that on. Here is our parcel representation. We'll go ahead and double click on that to come into the uh, style editor. We'll come down to our feature label here, click on the ellipsis, and we can see that the annotation that has been added is basically our area uh, geospatial attribute. So rather than just displaying the attribute, I'm going to click on the down arrow here and I'd like to use an expression to control how that attribute should be displayed. So we'll click on use expression and we can see that it's actually using a, an expression to display that. Something that I would point out, because this is annotation, the important thing to remember is anything that comes out of this expression needs to be formatted as a piece of text. So right now we are taking, uh, just by reading this, we are taking the area attribute, which is a numeric, and we're converting it to a string, which is a piece of text, therefore a piece of text can be added to this annotation. So let's do this. I'm going to clear that off and we'll just start from the beginning here. So what I want to do is I want to start with a text function that's going to allow us to Oh, for, I'm sorry, a math function that's going to allow us to deal with the area and round it. So I'm going to click on the down arrow here for the math functions. We're going to come down to a function here that's called round, and when I select that, it automatically starts to lay some of the parameters out for us. So the value that we would like to round, I'll uh, come up here, I've got that highlighted, I'm going to click on property. This will give me access to the attributes that are currently associated with my object, or I could also use that uh, geometry if I was looking at the, the physical object itself. Let's go ahead and we'll say area. So we're going to round our geospatial area to optional number of decimal places. The area currently is in square feet. I'm probably going to round it to zero. I, I probably don't need my uh, area you know, rounded to uh, two decimal places or three decimal places. However, um, we could maybe uh, bump our our uh, values up here so that um, maybe square footage was to an even foot. Maybe if the value was an acreage, I'd have it to four decimal places. Depending on the value that we have, we could do some math in here as well if we'd like to compute acreage, um, whatever we'd like to do. But in this case, it's square feet. I'm going to do zero for my um, rounding, so it e rounds it to an even square foot. Uh, I will come down here to the bottom. Very important that we take and validate the ex expression. In doing that, it's telling me that, hey, there's something wrong with it. Uh, it's not going to work. Uh, the reason it's not going to work is if you remember, the this is a, an annotative label. Uh, so if it's going to be a label that needs a text value, and basically if we round the area, we are only getting a, uh, a number, not a piece of text. So we're going to come here, click at the beginning, we're going to go to conversion. We need to convert this to a piece of text for this to work. We're going to convert it to string. And then what I'm going to do, I see the, the parameters that the uh, to string uh, function accepts are automatically put on the screen there. What I'm going to do is take what we have here. I'm going to cut that and I'm going to paste it into here. And then uh, I don't have any optional format at the end, so we'll take that off. We'll go ahead and validate our string. The expression is valid, and when we click on OK, and we say apply, and close that, we can drop this off. We see all of our values now have been rounded to an even foot as we expected. All right, now, in uh, the next version, we will look at, or the next video, we will look at another tool uh, within the expression or the functions library that will maybe add some further text to this. Uh, with concatenation, we'll 
go through and we'll add uh, square feet to the end of it so folks know the units make it a little bit more readable. But for now, using the round function, we can take the numerics of our attribute value, convert that into something that isn't to uh, 10 decimal places, but instead to the number of decimal places that makes sense for what we're going to use it for. So hope this is helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again in the next video. See ya.